What's up guys? It's Molly. I got a bunch of decks out. I'm here to do a star spread. Hi guys, my name is Molly. I'm a clear audience intuitive empath. I'm just gonna, I've got all the signs here. I'm just gonna shuffle the cards and we're gonna see uh, which one pops and what deck it lands closest to. And that's the deck we'll use for this star spread. All right. Who is this reading for? Who is this reading for? Who? okay. So we're using this deck for sure. And Pisces and Capricorn popped out. So I'm gonna throw these up in the air and whoever lands closest to this deck is who we're gonna read for. Ready? One, two, three. Uh, hmm, looks like they're pretty close, but it looks like it's going to be Pisces. All right. Okay, Pisces. Pisces, Pisces. I'm just going to move these decks out of the way. All right, hi, Pisces. All right. So what a star spread is, Pisces, is I'm just going to shuffle the cards. We're going to take whatever pops. And, oh, ah. <laughs> And we're gonna lay them out in a star spread. So I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna find out what the universe wants you to know that's going on in the heart of you or your person, in the present moment, in the intellect and mind, the desires, the outcome, what's yet to unfold, and in the emotions. All right, so Pisces, your deck is the Antique Anatomy deck, all right. Pisces, Pisces. So Pisces, I am channeling anything I say can be part of your message. All right. All right. Can you tell me what's going on in the heart for Pisces, please? This one. Thank you. Can, can you tell me what's going on in the present moment for Pisces, please? Just one, please. Thank you. Intellect and mind, Pisces, just one, please. Maybe. Thank you. Desires, Pisces. Ooh. I don't know why I flipped that one over. Outcome, Pisces. It's yet to unfold, Pisces. Oh, Pisces, my nose is itching like crazy. Okay. The spirit's really trying to get a message to you, Pisces. I'm channeling like crazy. And then this, I picked up the deck and this stayed down. So we're going to put this one right here. All right, Pisces. Let's see what the bottom of the deck is showing us. All right, the seven of coins. There is something that uh, you have been watching for quite a long time, Pisces. You've looked at it from all different angles, whatever this opportunity is. Uh, there is an opportunity to make some money. Uh, the fruit is on the tree. Uh, but there's nothing quite in the basket yet, but you have seen the potential. You've seen it all around. All right. All right. So let's start. What's going on in the heart, Pisces? What does spirit want you to know? Okay. We have the hermit with the two of rods. All right. Uh, somebody has really taken the time. Uh, they've gone deep within uh, within their heart, for sure, and took a look around. They have been illuminated. Uh, this person may, uh, may be feeling a yearning, a pull to go on some sort of new, exciting adventure. They may be at a crossroads right now in their heart where they're trying to... Uh, rationalize what their heart is actually feeling, which is <laughs> pretty much impossible to do. Uh, so this person may ha uh, be at a crossroads on, uh, do, I, do I go for love? Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. What does spirit want Pisces to know about the present moment? Mm. 
the five of elixirs. Mm -hmm. Somebody wasn't lucky in love before in the past. Look at that. Cyanide. Morphine. Yeah. Uh, somebody got slayed in the past with love. Uh, and when that happened, uh, it took quite a while for them to heal and for these flowers to grow. Uh, there was another person, a soulmate, around them while they were healing, but they didn't see them. Uh, they were uh, drugged out on pain, okay. They're realizing it now that this other soulmate, uh, the other person, was around them, trying to help them through this. They may not have noticed them. They may not have appreciated them. They may have been in like a deep depression, something like that. In the intellect and mind. Ooh. Mm, seven of blades, the seven of swords. Mm. This person had a problem uh, just seeing things black and white. Okay. Uh, this person may be an overthinker. They may uh, try to uh, juggle all these sor swords at the same time, which makes them uh, sort of behave sneaky. All right. Um, this person uh, is not used to opening up, so they're kind of uh, a lone wolf, but they, um, in the past, they may have had to, like, uh, uh, be a little sneaky, <laughs> but I think that was like in the past because we have the white flowers growing now. It's like this person is just, uh, mm. there's more to this. I'm trying, I can't get it. Seven of Swords for Pisces. Okay, this person may want to come and, yeah, they've been quiet. They've been holding, whoever this is has been holding back their feelings. Uh, in the past, they may have said, uh, there's only one way to do this relationship, uh, the right way, or something like that, or uh, whatever. But now, they've been holding back. They want to express their emotions. They want to tell somebody that they make them very happy, that they may have a plan. It's kind of an abstract plan, but it's something that they, uh, they want the bee to pollinate, whatever this, to make... Uh, this sunflower come in sharper, okay. Desires for Pisces. Okay, the Ten of Blades. Uh, Pisces wants, uh, or, or their person, uh, Spirit wants you to know that you both want some sort of cycle to be done. All right, whatever cycle this is, uh, the freaking pain will never get this bad again. Uh, you or your person have absolutely learned. Uh, learned whatever lesson you were meant to be learned. Okay. So you both desire for this cycle to be done. In the outcome. Ooh. Queen of Elixirs. Mmm. The Queen of Cups, isn't she pretty? <laughs> she has a beautiful neck. <laughs> Do you know carnations are one of the longest lasting cup flowers? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, she does. Okay, so this person may be into flowers, whoever this outcome uh, is. This is the Queen of Cups coming around. The Queen of Cups is a very uh, 
psychic person. She is in her emotions at times, but here she's smiling and happy. Uh, she may think somebody's very beautiful, or you, uh, somebody may think she's very beautiful. But she's here in the outcome. All right, what's yet to unfold for Pisces? All right. The Emperor and the World. All right. So it looks like here comes the Queen of Cups is the outcome. And what's yet to unfold is the Emperor. He wants to come up and uh, get with his Queen of Cups here for sure. And that's the world. That's uh, kind of the end of this cycle. A new cycle begins. All right. Mm. Somebody may have some like stomach issues or something like that. Uh, somebody may get pregnant. Um, okay. Emotions. All right, the Knight of Coins. All right, there is something that this person feels guilty about. They need to clear it up, whatever. Okay, so uh, this Knight of Coins uh, doesn't move. He just kind of hangs out on his horse and goes very, very slowly. He assesses everything. And right now, in the emotions, this Knight is looking over here at whatever... Um, this was the sadness uh, there is some guilt involved he may have ignored uh, the feminine or the I think it's the masculine may have ignored the feminine for a while he was dealing with something and uh, all right okay so here we go Pisces This person has realized in their uh, heart that they have been uh, just back and forth in it between the head and the heart, the head and the heart, the head and the heart, the head and the heart. And they are realizing now they are having uh, uh, an, kind of an epiphany of this spiritual connection and they uh, do want to start a new adventure in the heart. All right. In the present uh, moment, they are thinking about how uh, there may have been an inc incident, instance, I don't know why I said incident, instance where this person may have been uh, using vices, may have been in a depression, may have been healing from some sort of uh, trauma, and they ignored uh, whatever soulmate was around them. They may want to talk about the trauma. They may want to talk about the incident. Uh, may have somebody, may have Leo in the chart. They don't have to, they may. Uh, this person wants to uh, really express emotions and they want to make this into a happier situation, okay? Uh, they may have an idea of how to pollinate something, make something grow and get this sunflower from an abstract, blurry, happy thing into a more, uh, real thing okay in the desires is the end of this cycle uh so it is we've got look at we have the ten of swords we have the world so there's a cycle shift that is happening now okay and the outcome is the queen of cups the queen of elixirs she's very happy uh, she's looking at the two flowers here coming together. All right. What's yet to unfold? We have the emperor and the world. Okay. So it looks like this emperor is going to step up. All right. They may tell you about the end of something. They may have a, a leg problem or like a... a some sort of uterine problem or something like that. All right. But uh, they are stepping up. They do want to come up to their Queen of Cups. 
Okay. They have been, uh, it has taken them quite a long time. They really did look at whatever this issue was. And uh, let's see, have they healed from it for Pisces? Can we get the Knight of Pentacles for Pisces? What does the, the cards have to tell Pisces about the Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, they've healed from it. They see the other person as a beautiful person. A creative person, uh, an innocent person, somebody uh, who lives in Monmouth Grove with her bonnet. Okay. All right. Uh, there's a uh, Aries reading about Walnut Grove. Uh, I'll link that in the comments. All right. Fantastic. Let's see what the bottom of the deck tells us. Yeah. This is kind of the same vibe as this. Something has been stagnant, and as soon as they plug in this fan, it's all going to come rushing out. Uh, it's going to come rushing out to this person. This feminine they see as a playful bird. This feminine uh, goes into the bird bath and flips around and does her cool thing, and every, everything stops, and you just watch this playful bird. They find her very enticing. This person may have been stuck in their reptilian brain. They may have had an awakening, okay? They may have previously been kind of a, a, a fight, flight, or freeze type of mentality, okay? It's the masculine, all right? He may have spent some time around a narcissist, some sort of narcissist teacher or boss person. And he may want to, oh, look at, he may want to come to you and talk about it, the feminine, and talk about it. He may ask her to come over, hang out at his house, do something like that. Oh. They may have, you may have a kid, or they may have kids. Oh, look at it, it's like a whole family right here. All right. They're feeling a lot of pressure. Okay, they have done some purging and cleansing. This person has done a ton of self-reflecting. All right, they've done a lot of crying. They've done a lot of purging and cleansing. There is some relationship that they did decide to leave. And now they want to come forward to a more spiritual connection. All right, Pisces. There is your reading. Okay, Pisces. <clears throat> if you like how I read, hit like and subscribe, please. I'd appreciate a like. And it also helps get the video and the algorithm a little bit more so more people can read the mess hear the message. <laughs> if you'd like to cruise my Etsy shop, there is a link right there in the description. Alright, Pisces, peace out. Love ya. Bye-bye.